this is going to be big. The green flag waves. Outside, as we climb up hill, can cross road. What a start from the Brit, number 35, but Miller will take the inside line into turn one. Maverick. Into the turf. Oh, oh, Rossi's, Rossi's down. gone down. Oh. Tino Rossi's gone down mid-pack. It's another disaster for the doctor. It's a third. Raro is then second. Great start for Dovi. He's up inside the top four. Polis Bargaro is up into fifth as well. In fact, Dovi's third. He's now doing a bit of a demolition job right now on Fabio Quattararo. He was very, very brave to get on the inside of Cal Crutchlow, given his lack of experience in rain conditions. And there for Valentino yeah. Rossi. Rossi then out of Mazzano too. Out of Barcelona when he was on course for a podium. And now he's the turn nine. Miller from Petrucci, from Dovi. And look at Bradley Smith. He was the man in the rain conditions <laughs> in FP by that top ten. Oh, challenge for the lead there. Danilo Petrucci on Jack Miller. He's got it. Number nine, Danilo Petrucci. Locked out of MotoGP podium. At the moment, though, very early on, of course, they've got the top three places here in France. Bradley Smith just lunching up the inside. The inside into turn one. And he makes it stick as well. Here comes Miller then trying to hunt down Petrucci. About fending off Palis Bargro there. That's a battle raging for fourth and fifth. Vinales had a disaster. Yeah, he did. He's stuck down through La Chapelle. The Vizioso say thank you very much. He pounces. It's now a factory Ducati 1 2. Petrucci leading the way. Leader. Where's his closest rival, Mia? Way down in 15th right now. Ducati 1 2. Alex Rins there closing in on Cal Crutchlow. Rossi's race is over. He can't get the bike going again. What a disaster in that early shot and then it turned three. Let's try and pick the bones out of this one. Keen on the gas. And that really cost the two Suzukis, didn't it? Look right. at that Rossi. Rear tyre just slipping out from underneath him. Oh, that's what happened to Vignard. Magnificent to avoid all of that. Right, back at the front we go. Danilo Petrucci leads from Dovi Miller. Then it's the circuit. Alex Rins, who was back on the podium. Look at him. He was with the Vizioso. They're strong in the rain conditions. Thomas Fargo just can't shake off. Fabio Quattararo can him. Cal Crutchlow still doing in these wet conditions. Down the hill into turn seven. It's still Petrux, as he's fondly known in the paddock, that leads. Then Polish Bar side him, and he might just momentarily worry which Suzuki it is. Yeah, and at the moment, Juan Mir not really having any. That means Rins up inside the top five. Miguel Oliveira and Alex Marquez are going well. Three. Smith has now got himself onto the back of that battle involving Quattararo and Crutchlow. Simon, you got some tyre info? Guys, Dovi, soft, soft, same as everyone else, soft, soft, until you get down to Rins, who's medium, medium. Zarco is in terms of the rain selection. Polis Fargo, a little bit twitchy on the KTM, coming out the final corner. Cal Crutchlow now for a Fabio Quattararo, back another place. Quattararo is in complete championship mode at this stage. As Rins challenges, Polis Fargo and moves it up into the 19th place. He's doing 150s at the moment. Vinales, he's over three seconds slower. Polis Fargo then wide now into La Chapelle. Good man on the circuit, Danilo Petrucci, 147.733. Bradley... Couple of tenths quicker than De Vincioso. Bradley Smith going around the outside here, but moving out of the top eight soon. Juan Mir had a bad lap last time around. He did a 51.3. And that's dropped him down so far with Quattararo just about clinging on to seventh. It's amazing, isn't it? In the dry, the, the four Yamaha. Quattararo's now down to eighth place. The three Degattis are stretching their advantage. Danilo Petrucci with absolute of course. This is massive for the championship with him. He can pounce on these lackluster performances oh, from Quattararo. Look oh, at that. Two in for both of them. Now, Quattararo's got problems here because behind him as well are coming Takanaka Garmin and Alexis Spargaro. And look what it's to Yamaha's and then Morbidelli and Vinales. Vinales strikes through on Morbidelli. Just behind them is Juan Mia, who's trying to get in. No one can touch these three at the moment. These three guys are all in the 146s. Nobody close to that right now. Well, there was a spell when we had a few wet rates. A certain Mark Marquez, Esquire, Danilo Petrucci and Andrea De Vizioso. So it's no great surprise to see these two men in the front. And with Miller and De Vizioso, they know these are huge world championship points at stake. Particularly when you see it on 114 points as it stands. Dovi would only be 10 behind. Miller, of course, back in the frame as well. In fact, Miller, this race has turned out. And there is so much time left as yeah. well. These are going to be a very, very long 22 laps. Went in Le Mans, and it's certainly very, very cold. Well, Ducati fans on the fan wall, I bet you're liking what you see so far. Quicker than Jack Miller, but there's almost three seconds there to try and bridge. Yeah, and there you go. Quattararo. That was coming. You can see that coming. And Margro will have the number 20 in his sights as well. So Quattararo dumped out of the top 10.
Although, not the man who is as fast as the race leaders right now, the rookie, Alex Marquez, really? in eighth place. He's lapping as quick as these three Ducati tyres. The tyres were so grippy, so it was hard, actually, to find where the limit was. Looks like he's found the limit right now. There he is on the number 73 bike, slow, just behind him. Range stopped again now on the start-finish straight, but... Is there enough time for anything to sixth place behind Polish Bargaro? Then it's Bradley Smith in seventh. He's just up ahead of number 73 of Alex Marquez and McLeckett. There is Alex Marquez. What a stellar job he's doing. Zero experience of wet weather rated FP1 in those rain conditions on Friday. Petrucci then still standing firm. Alex Rins has just set the fastest lap of the years. Pay off as well in the latter stages of this one. If we do get, let's say, it's bone dry and you're going to gain yeah. like heaps of time on slicks, it doesn't feel like that can happen right now. But is this a mask Petrucci? The problem is he's got two and a half seconds to bridge to get on the coattails of Jack Miller. He's well, well clear. He's broken. Rider just in the background at the top of your picture there. He's got into his groove far too late, but he's laughing well. Is Peko Banyaya struggling, struggling still? Big style is Vinales, more Modali and Mia. They can't get anywhere near the 46s oh, right look now. At this. That trio. Alex Marquez up into seventh place. And true also goes Miguel Oliveira. He was always a bit of a demon in rain conditions in Moto 2, wasn't he? And tight at the top. The three Ducatis. Petrucci, Limbizioso and Miller at the moment. Come 45-8 from Rins. Half a second quicker than that trio ahead of him oh, yet again. Petrucci was a bit wide in turn two. That's going to be it. Would there be team orders for Petrucci given the positions in the championship of Dobby and Miller? Our commentary box window. The rain starting to fall here again over the Bacathy circuit in Le Mans. Alex Rins has got some near the rhythm of Rins. Yeah, Rins is going to be with these guys very, very soon. At the moment, it's number nine, Danilo Petrucci, that leads. His best out far. Six tenths in Lamar for Rins. It says six tenths there, but that's already come down. On board with Rins now, then, number 42. Yeah, and he might be breaking some Bologna hearts here as well, because Ducati were getting the big marketing campaigns ready for Monday morning, dreaming of Ovi and Miller. And there's still a long, long way to go. Very tight, very Petrucci. And Davizioso's made his move. Finally, Andrea Davizioso has shown a front wheel to uh, Danilo Petrucci. He's shown on the exit. Miller again, back through on the power for on Alex Rins as well. This race is on here in France. Who wins this one? What's up with the Crutchlow? Oh, has gone down. What a shame. He was in great rhythm. He was in seventh place. You know what? There was a podium on the grid here. Oh, here, oh, here comes oh, Petrucci. Comes Danilo, and he's going to go a bit deep here. This is going to allow Miller in, and here comes Dobby. Yeah. Thomas Viger exactly. and Alex Marquez. Yeah, they want a proper ding-dong, proper battle to rage in front of them. Now, Rins trying to get it back up the inside. Oh, Dobby was in. Oh, <laughs> Vizioso got picked up by Rins and Miller on the inside. Pius Vagro and Alex Marquez, they're now in this league group as well. Earlier, turn nine, that was. And now, Pius Vagro and Alex Marquez are in this. Well in it. And there'll be eight orange yeah, there's something, there's obviously something was, wrong yeah, with the bike. Something was dangling down the side of the bike, was it? Miller up the inside of Rins, brave into the first corner. Four Rins into turn three. Well, Dobby was the big loser there, wasn't he? Leading, coming out of turn eight. And now, look, Rins coming from way, way back. There was contact there between Dobby and Petrucci. How on earth did Alec uh, Rins? I'm not sure Miller will need to drop the place. He was third going in. He kind of ended up third on the way out, but Dobby will feel maybe differently about that. Terms with the three men ahead of him. In fact, he's got his hands full now, keeping Polis Vargro at bay. Jack Miller's got a problem. How oh, from Jack no. Miller. Have I wasn't sure. Yeah. Oh, oh Miller. what a disaster no. for his world championship. Can you believe it? How many more twists and turns? A Repsol Honda win. What a shame you have to feel for Jack Miller. A great chance of winning. It's Has Miller. Does anybody want to win this 2020 MotoGP World Championship? How peculiar. I mean, it's another point that goes with that. Right. Oh, oh it's no, down Rins there as well. Gone. In second place, Suzuki's dreams of winning here. And then at turn three, we've seen that mistake so often down the years. And Alex Rins has crashed out of the podium. Le Mans. Jack Miller is absolutely fuming with the motorcycle giving up on him. Can you believe another cruel mechanical problem has put him out? And Alex Marquez can win this French Grand Prix. Thriller Miller. Well, Petrucci's got... We may well have 
Marquez versus Dovi again, but it's younger brother, the Moto2 world champ. The Ducati podium, unfortunately, after that exit for Jack Miller. Alberto Puj, Takeo Yokoyama, look on. They know, doing an incredible job here. Pressurizing Andrea De Vizioso. Petrucci now starting to open up a significant gap of the 4-3 from Petrucci. That's a brilliant lap from the number nine. Up through to turn three then, and the way through at Maverick Vinales. These are vital world <laughs> championship points to stake between these two, aren't they? But Vinales has had a disaster here today, any so far this year, Maverick Vinales. Wow, catch your breath. Miller out with a mechanical but on the podium. Rins out with a cr Rins has got to go rejoin, but you, you do wonder, don't you? No, that's a, a, a trash that's a around the circuit with you, so I don't think the Rins will be continuing for much longer. Right, there are six laps to go here. Dovi on this lap. experience here versus inexperience. Wow. It's the master and the apprentice in many ways. It really is. Three. Alex Marquez with absolutely nothing to lose here. He's going to go for this. Andrea De Vizioso knows that. And in 11th place, Petrucci dropped back into the 45s. That is a very glum look circuit. Is Joe Anzarco in 7th? He's not close enough to have a say in this battle right now, but based on what we've seen in the last 10, Bobby and Marquez, they both did 44 fives. In fact, Andrea De Vincioso having to dig deep here to keep Marquez the rookie. You can see it stopped raining. It's not drying, but there's not as much water on the surface at this moment in time. That's why he's really reeling back in. It would be so Dovi to win a race like this, wouldn't it? Miguel Oliveira. Just behind Palace Barcaro, the two KTM men cannot be ruled out yet. The gap, 1.7 seconds, three seconds to three. Orange Dears to tell him he's got a mechanical. He's obviously been so uh, desperate to get back out of the action. He took some of the Marshall kit with him. Five, and Dobby who did a 144.7 against Zarco. A 43, 511 from Jeff. Alex Rins then gets the message. And you can still see that strap. It's absolutely wrapped around the camera, isn't it? Or camera. Well, that could be dangerous. Yeah, that could be really dangerous. That's the reason, the reason why. It's the right thing to he's do. He's just finally noticed over. it, hasn't he? Meanwhile, she is 1.6 seconds clear. In fact, it's now 1.3. Dovi and Co are closing. And Polis Bargaro now. Can you imagine? He's quite a T. He's even going to finish on the podium, let alone win this Grand Prix, because Dovi is dragging Marquez Aspargaro and Oliveira. Witchy Red Bull KTM, aren't they? They can see that Paul Aspargaro is on the brink here. He can see the race leader. He can see these guys are pulling them off. The, the uh, seat there he, for Dovi. He really was. Yeah, that was a big, big twitch. Alex Marquez would have seen that. A little bit of breathing space. 1.7 seconds they lead. Petrucci just picked up his pace on that last lap. He could do a 44. Been stronger at the start of this race, then he would be right in the mix. Here he comes then, side by side, Alex Marquez. With up to 1.8, and Marquez is through. He's up into second place. <laughs> How many times have we seen that for Brother Mark? Can Alex Marquez then now find a way through to claw back a 1.8 second deficit on Dele Petrucci again? Is he struggling for grip in the closing stage of this French Grand Prix? Which is well for Marquez, and he got the gas out of Garage Van der Rohl to extend his championship lead. Unbelievable. Absolutely incredible. We've packed in some serious drop. Desperately trying to hang on to a podium. Trying to salvage some crucial world championship points to Keo Yokoyama there looking on. He's going to be full of ammo now, ready to pounce, isn't he? On the back of these. And look at the, the two behind. has got no rear grip, Steve. We just saw him there. Spinning massively, coming out the fire. It's like eight tenths slower than Alex Parker. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's got no grip, Dobby. Up the inside, and Dobby now not even on the podium. No, he... Alex Marquez is just 1.2 seconds down on Danilo Petrucci now. He's eating that gap alive. Another four or five laps, and Joe Anzarco could win this. Really easily. Right. How many successive laps? Liar. Yeah, it's completely it's gone. gone. Yeah, he's got nothing left underneath him. He's a passenger. It's like chewing gum. Yeah, he's a sitting duck right now. Nothing he can do. He can't attack. He... And that just helps out Fabio Quattararo even more. Well, Dovi, though, does get the rear tyre hooked up enough to fight back on Oliveira. Second. Petrucci doing a fantastic job of keeping that 1.2 second buffer. Surely Petrucci can hold on to a winner. Alex Marquez changed that. Polis Bargaro has got some speed here as well. And what can Dovi salvage? We start the final 13. So the gap there between Petrucci and Marquez, it stayed at that 1.2 seconds. Does Alex Marquez will result? I'll take that. Davizioso somehow is still keeping Miguel Oliveira behind him to hang on to fourth spot. 
absolutely outstanding. And in conditions where we've seen even the very best get caught out, so easy to make a mistake, so easy to correct. Moldovi again. Big, big rear uh, wheel spin coming out of that far turn seven. It's same for all of Coming to the closing stages of this MotoGP race in France, and it's now Petrucci's to lose. Further back, Stefan is going to try unbelievable. Quattararo then losing ground on Juan Mir, but it's all eyes at the front in the final sector. Danilo Petrucci, he has yep. gone through so last year as Mir and Quattararo scrap it out for can you believe ninth yeah, place he's got to say Petrucci's been absolutely awesome she has won the French Grand Prix and it is an iconic result for him and what a race for Alex Mark because he's going to keep Vinales and Mir behind top three men in the championship combined the line together Ecstasy, ecstasy down it's the MotoGP bike in wet conditions before he takes a remarkable second place the plot is full go to Petrucci oh, well, remember Ducati because the two men they wanted to see win haven't because of the championship but it's the seventh different winner in nine races. Marquez and Alex Marquez what an absolutely awesome performance 18 congratulations from all around him. and what about HRC team manager Alberto Fujio I'm sure he's delighted he's with Simon Alberto what a stunning clever he he went from down to progressively fast and he it was a good very good race Danilo Petrucci, one of the most popular, likeable characters in the whole MotoGP world. Chex Marquez, awesome. that is fantastic to see. Yeah. What an outstanding effort from him. Soon back into the pit lane, ninth, but he increased his world championship lead. He dug deep on that last lap to make sure that he kept Mir at bay. They were, but yeah. you've actually extended your lead going into Aragon. In those kind of conditions, mission first is to make sure you see the checkered flag and that concentration, the focus that you need in a race like that where it's so easy to be caught out by a mistake they'll sleep well tonight the boy a lot of work in that uh, 45 minutes or so by the way Zarco poached fifth from Oliveira on the last Marquez because that was one of the rides of his life and he's had a fair view uh, it's an amazing story isn't it KTM of the year and Ducati's first ever win in Le Mans in the hands of Incredible. Danilo Petrucci I'd love to see some shots now of Mark Marquez left after watching younger brother Alex Produced, like we said, one of the rides of his life. The first Ducati rider to win at Le Mans. There's a smile that will take some time to be wiped off. There's Daniele Ramagnoli, crew chief for Danilo Petrucci. All the Ducati management coming. He loves Le Mans, doesn't he? Three successive front row starts, three successive podiums. And what a job by that man as well. Polis Bargro by the Spaniard. Miguel Oliveira looked like he just, like Dovizioso, ran out of rear tyre in those crucial laco. I think he's just saying there, as soon as I opened the throttle, wheel spin and Zarco just came flying on through. Zarco would have been poaching a few more places than just that yeah, one. I mean, Zarco's speed there. Look at Davizioso again. Big switch on that. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, he said pre-race he was going to send it, and he was true to his word, wasn't he? Great job, that by... Thank you so much. 18th to 2nd in his first wet race. Yeah, and coincidentally, the last podium for a ride... And uh, I'm so happy. I simply couldn't understand what uh, what I did. Good for you, Danilo. Vizioso congratulating his teammate, Danilo Petrucci. There's your current factory Ducati lineup. Of course, five days' time. What a treat, though. The MotoGP field served up in really treacherous conditions here in the month today. It's a second win, 18th the second for his first MotoGP podium. Congratulations as well to Polis Bargro, Andre De Vizioso, Joan Zarco, Miguel Oliveira. Juan Mir was 11th, Binder 12th, out of Bagnaia, Alexis Spargo, and Ika Lekawona. A dramatic day for Alex Rins. He crashed out with Elian Valentino Rossi, the future teammates in Petro, the Yamaha SRD. Rossi was down on the first lap at turn three. Cap <laughs>